What's going on, you guys? Like, welcome guys to the channel. Uh, it's your boy Big Dog back with another one team review. Today, I got one from Minari, um, starring Steven Yeung, Steven, Steven Yeung, and uh, Han Yi Ri. Uh, as uh, Monica and Jacob, uh, a Korean family, uh, moves to Arkansas farm, moves to an Arkansas farm in search of an uh, American dream. Amidst the challenges of a new life in a strange and rugged Ozarks, they discover the undeniable resilience of family and what really makes a home. This is a, okay, this is one of the best picture nominees, so I knew I was going to have to watch it eventually, and then I got I to check it out, so I just, okay. Let me see what it's hidden for, because I, I had, I had heard nothing about the film, period, until it was nominated for an Oscar, so. I don't know if that was me being bad or just like it not getting like that much, you know, then stuff. And then kind of like mixed the languages. Sometimes they speak Korean, sometimes they speak English and everything like that. And it doesn't take place in like modern times. It kind of takes place like, you know, it seems like 90s. Kind of felt 90s to me, you know what I'm saying? Early 90s. I mean, uh, yeah, early 90s, somewhere around that time. Uh, maybe, maybe late 80s. I don't know. You know what I'm, I'm like, yeah, like time frames and shit like that. But uh, you have this family, of course, like I said, it's like moved to Arkansas, uh, and, and, and they just simply just struggle with everyday life, because you have his wife, uh, Monica, who didn't want to, they lived in California, they moved to here, they moved to Arkansas, not to here, uh, they moved to Arkansas, and the husband had a dream, he was like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, we won't have to, because they, what they did uh, back in California was uh, chicken sexers, that's what it's called, where like you, you just uh, get the little chicks and see if they're male or female and stuff like that. That's all he did, you know what I'm saying? So he said, okay, we wanted more and I'm going to be able to live off the, live off the land, you know what I'm saying? Give you guys some stuff, uh, or grow Korean uh, plants uh, and uh, vegetables and, and, you know what I'm saying, fruit, all those things. So we can sell those and like, we, we'll be all right, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those things. But the wife is kind of like, we're in the middle of nowhere. There's nobody around. We have a son with a, with a heart problem. We're, we're an hour away from the hospital. What are you doing? Like, this is just a bad decision overall. And so you just, you have that infighting between those two. You have the husband trying to make the most of it. Then you have the wife coming, coming along like, okay, we're here now. Hopefully we can get some things together. You know, we still, st both still working. Uh, as well as doing this. So you just have that, it, it just felt like a natural struggle for like basically anybody who's trying to live an American dream. Well, you have to do certain things, and you have to sacrifice other things, but at the same time, those sacrifices might come at the cost of like losing the people close to you because like you're trying to, in your mind, and, and it's, it's one of those things when you get caught up, so caught up in your own mind, where it's like, I'm trying to do this for you, it's like you you're not noticing what what you're doing is doing to me and, it's, and, and this once again it's one of those things where it's like well once we make it or once what's, what, if this does work out what you gonna say then you know what i'm saying it's like was, would it all be worth it considering our relationship might not be as strong as it was once we get to that point because it, it's, it's like it's tough because I, I've, I've known people, I've seen people, I've done this myself. And it's like, okay, I want to do this. And, and if, I, if, this, if I can get this done, I'm like, hey, we are going to be straight. It's like, okay, well, no, I just want you around. Uh, the, the people, some people are like, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't want you to do that. I just rather have like the simple stuff, you know, just me and you and family. It's like, no, but I, I want more. I want more for you guys. It's like, no, we just rather have you. It's just, so it's like conflicting things. And it's just from a different perspective, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> you, get to, you get to see like some other stuff because they get to interact with like other people, just other, uh, well, Americans. You get to see how Americans act and how different their lifestyles are from Koreans and like the, uh, uh, their, the wife's mother comes to live with them. And then you have this kid, oh, God, he's so great. I'm giving this up. Uh, Alan S. Kim, who plays David. And David is hilarious, okay? It's like, a, like he's just like a normal little kid, but like, he's been raised in America. So he kind of like pick up on somehow some of the habits of like American kids and like how he look at his, how his grandmother, he looks, well, what he perceives a grandmother is supposed to be. 
uh, as to like what his grandmother actually is. It's, it's just so many different elements to it. You have Will Patton here who plays a guy named Paul who's it's like a genuinely good guy, you know what I'm saying? Who's like strong with Christ and you know, like that stuff kind of there's so many different things that goes along with that and, 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 and like kinda of like open like they didn't open one of the things I don't think the film did though was like open to like really see how other people are. It just kind of put you in their world, which is fine. Yeah, I kind of would have wanted to see like how they interact with more people other than just the people around them. You know what I'm saying? But I I, I get why it's like why we did it that way. Now overall, the film I think the film's okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't I didn't love it or anything. I just felt like I, I I never was like locked in. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm it's not that I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to the film. I was just like. Okay, this is cool. It just feels like very solid, straightforward. Now I might have missed the matches in here somewhere, which is that did cool. That's you know what I'm saying. That's on me. But like, it just felt very straightforward and and, and nothing. That was too short. One thing happened that was big. Then some other stuff happened. Then the movie goes off. So I'm just kind of like, what? I. Uh, I, I, it was like the second time that happened to me like, that day, honestly, because I watched another movie where it kind of did the same thing. Where it's like, all right, this is cool. You learn about Minari. And it's a movie called Minari, but it played a very small role in this damn film, okay? Didn't know what it was. Didn't know it was a plant. It is a plant, though. It is definitely, it is a plant. I'm thinking you're gonna learn something. About, it's gonna be like the the, the 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 crop that they grow that sells a lot. That's not the kid. Like it just kind of goes and then it goes off. It basically just tells the story of a family, just a simple straight up story of a family chasing the American dream, and that's it. Which is fine. Which is fine. It's just I didn't see the. I don't know, like, I, I, I didn't see the big, and I'm, it's not like I was looking for some explosions or shit to go on, some, some super drama, it wasn't that, it's just like, it's just like a straight up movie, just by the numbers, so I'm like, okay. Like, you damn near could have predicted everything that happened, like, it was, it was, it was solid, it was just a solid, like, the acting was great. <laughs> no, no, I think that. Well, I think that was great. Um, and and like, there, I just, the wife was excellent. The husband was good, but I think the wife, the wife and David, oh my god, grandmother was great too. But the wife and David, oh, those two, uh, those two are the scene stealers for me. But I, I just, it's just one of those ones that didn't do it for me though. You know, it's just like a straight up, felt like a short story. You know. Felt like I, I, I read a, a, a chapter of a book of somebody's life. Somebody just told me a story about like their life and it just that quick. I'm like, oh, I know who you are now. I know what you've been through, but just didn't, just didn't gravitate to it toward, towards your boy. So uh, I'm gonna give it a C plus. I'm gonna give it a C plus. Um, that's just for me. As a, I mean. I'm not just a film, I'm just I'm based off like enjoyment and not just how it is as a film, you know what I'm saying? Cause I think, like, like, it thinks it's exceptionally well made film, but just overall, just as a film, I just. What can I say? Uh, you guys let me know what you thought about. If you've seen it down in the comments, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys stay safe. I'll catch up with you guys later. This, this year's Oscars, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, cause I I haven't loved any of the the, the nominees for really. Judas and the Black Messiah was good, but I think so far the one I would want to win is the the Trial of Chicago Seven. Even though No Man Land is the one that's leading, that was also another film I just kind of felt like was. You know what I'm saying? Didn't take me anywhere. So who knows? Who y'all got? Y'all let me know. Peace out.